Hey, Anita from Bulbora Supplies here and today I'm going to take you through the three versions of the Flare Espresso Maker. For those of you who are familiar with the Flare, you'll recognise the original Flare, which is in the red and the black. And then we've got the Flare Signature range, which comes in matte black and copper and chrome and copper. So for this brew, I've got 16 grams of finely ground coffee beans. I'm going to get my brew chamber and we're going to preheat it. This is a really important step with the flare because you lose a lot of temperature uh, once your water goes into the brew chamber. So we're going to put it in a bowl or you can put it into your sink. And my kettle is at 94 degrees and I'm just going to just go over the top of the brew chamber just to make sure it's nice and hot. And with the brew chamber, you can let it sit there for a second. I'm going to add the coffee into the porter filter. I'm going to use the funnel because I always make a mess. There we go. Give it a little tap and get it all in there. You can use your tamper. You want to make sure you don't tamper too much because it puts too much pressure on the machine. You can give it a little tamp, take it off again. And give it another little tamp. Just got to make sure that you have enough room for the shower screen to go on the top. So you pop that on there. I've got my brew chamber and it's nice and hot now. I'm making sure that I'm only touching the silicon so I don't burn my fingers. This one goes on here. The whole thing onto the top. We've got our cup and our piston. Oops, we're going to add the water first. I'm going to add the water. We've got to make sure that our water is at a good temperature, it's not too hot, not too cold, and we're not filling it past the fill line. You'll see in the brew chamber that there is a line all the way around. If you do fill it past that fill line, um, it will come up the top. So on goes the piston, and we're ready to brew. Your shot should take about 20 to 35 seconds. If the pressure does become too hard, um, stop your brew and um, you can adjust your grind size and the amount of grounds that you're putting into your porter filter. It's getting a nice crammer on it now. All the way down. You can see it's got some really nice crema on it. One thing we love about the Flare is that it is incredibly portable. You can have it as your home espresso machine. You don't have to plug it into electricity so that you can take it camping or take it to the office with you. It does come in that really small carry case so you can fit everything inside and it is extremely easy to clean. Once you've done your espresso shot and you're enjoying your espresso, all you have to do is just leave it in the sink until it cools down and that means it's a little easier to take apart and you can just rinse it under hot or cold water and dry everything before you put it away. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Anita from Boombora Supplies and this has been a short tutorial on the Flare Espresso Maker. Just remember when you're brewing the Flare to have your water temperature about 94 degrees and if you want to change up your recipe or you're not quite happy with it, you can change your dosage or your grind size. If you want to follow us on social media, please hit us up on Instagram and Facebook and you can always like and subscribe for more videos from us. We'll see you next time.